How's it going everyone? My name is Kyle from Smart Home Starter and today we're going to be kicking off our video series where we will discuss how a smart home can benefit you as well as giving you product recommendations, product reviews, and demonstrations along the way. For those of you who have never heard the term smart home before, a smart home is where any electronic device that you choose to plug in can be controlled from either your phone, your hub, or your computer. By integrating all the devices in your home to one central hub, it allows for maximum convenience for device usage and home control. With a smart home, your lights, cameras, or anything else you choose to be plugged in can be connected to your hub or phone. This type of connectivity is great for controlling your environment with your voice or the tap of a button. No more getting out of bed to turn off the lights. Alexa, turn the bedroom light off. No more turning on the TV and waiting through commercials to figure out the local weather. Hey Google, what's the weather like in Philadelphia? Currently in Philadelphia, it's 85 degrees and partly cloudy. Today, there will be thunderstorms with a forecasted high of 86 and a low of 72. And no more forgetting to lock the front door. Instead of paying every month for a security system, you can pay much less for a similar self-monitor system. You can start a smart home with the smallest of budgets, and that's what I'm here to show you. When starting a smart home, you have to choose your smart home hub to base your smart device ecosystem around, the two most popular being Google and Amazon. Apple TV is another great option, but we're leaving it out due to its price. And there are other advanced options, such as SmartThings and Home Assistant, but we're not going to overwhelm you with options, and we're only going to go over the two devices that we think are compatible with the most smart devices. For most of the video series, I'll be using the Amazon Alexa as well as the devices that are compatible with it, but we'll still make sure to give you options for the Google Home. While Google has better smart displays, better multitasking, and real-time language translation, Amazon has better speaker quality, location triggers, and better smart home compatibility. Both have their advantages and disadvantages, so at the end of the day, it's just up to personal preference. Starting off with Google, the Nest Mini is a great budget option that you can put multiple of throughout your house. The Nest Mini has a wall mounting option and has much better sound quality than its predecessors. As for Amazon, the Echo Dot is the best budget choice for a smart home speaker. The Echo Dot has better speaker quality than the Nest Mini, displays the time on the device, and has great compatibility with other smart devices. Both have their strong suits, so you should choose what you think is more catered to your needs. If you want the lights to turn on as soon as you walk in the front door, go for the Echo Dot. If you think you'll use your smart hub whose app is a little bit more user friendly and has a better video service collection, the Nest Mini should be your go-to. There are a variety of smart devices that are compatible for each ecosystem. For some smart products, they tend to prefer or are more compatible with one ecosystem than the other. This is usually because the companies will have partnerships with the creators of these products to promote using their ecosystem. I'm currently using the Sylvania Smart Bulbs and an Amazon Smart Plug because they are more compatible with the Echo Dot than the Google Smart Home. I can access both devices directly from my phone in the Amazon Alexa app, which is super convenient. This concludes the first episode of our Smart Home video series. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see the rest of the video series, and feel free to head over to our Facebook or website to get all of the latest and greatest news in the Smart Home world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Alexa, turn the lights off.